Hi everyone. Uh, I sometimes get repeated questions about these spot micros, so I thought I'd give you a little voiceover to try to clarify some things. Um, I sometimes get asked whether or not frictionless pins are, are really necessary. Um, yes, they are for uh, walkers with all these joints. Um, the, if you don't have frictionless pins, the motors won't be able to handle it, it won't run well. And especially with a passive walker like this that's driven by wheels, you know, it's, it, these legs have to move effortlessly. You can see how, how little friction they have. Um, I also get asked about these feet. They're just these little Lego, Lego parts here that I just, you know, put a little Lego wheel around. Um, another really important thing with these carts for walkers is you want to make sure that the cart height is the same height as the robot's frame. If it's instead the robot leans up or down, it won't walk well. And how you do that is you, you get the two cranks horizontal, you set it on the ground, and then you make sure that this lower beam of the frame that extends out is the same height as the, as, as the cart's frame. Um, you'll also notice that our walkers contain like a lot of truss work making for really stiff frames, yet lightweight frames, which is really important for walkers since they stress frames more than wheeled, wheeled vehicles. Um, another really important um, thing when building walkers is to make sure that your spacing between your leg parts uh, is just right so that the parts don't collide with each other and cause jamming. And in addition to that, you wanna make sure that leg parts connect to parts in adjacent planes. So what I mean by that is here's my outer plane and all these out th three outer leg parts, sorry, connect to these middle ones, which connect to those. And you can just manually count to make sure that each part connects to a part in an adjacent frame. Um, the cart that I made for this little proof of concept test is pretty simple, nothing special. Um, like I said, you gotta get the height correct. I just added a little parallelogram to uh, test if the walker could be steered by steering the wheels, and it appears that would be the best way to steer this thing. Um, what's kind of nice about having the legs free is as it's making a turn, the outer legs or the, of the turn can go faster, just like a differential, because they're not, they're not bound by anything. Um, another question I sometimes get asked is, can you change the lengths of the, of the leg parts or change the linkage? Um, I would, if you're going to do that, so this four bar linkage is super sensitive. Um, if you like change this by one hole, it basically won't work. You can change the length of that without too much of a problem. Um, if you need, if you want it change it, you want to improve it, or you just want to accommodate what parts you have, um, you may want to enter it into our simulator on DIY Walkers. I'll put the link in the description. Um, you can basically, you know, see exactly what happens to the footpath when you change it. And uh, yeah, and avoid avoid a lot of headaches, trial and error in that uh, would, would be otherwise dead ends. Okay. I hope that was a little bit helpful and uh, good luck. Thanks.